Hi, I'm Carl, and in this video we're going to have a look at questions 37 to 39 of section 3 of the Pink Booklet. This is a question about a lens, and we're given a lens equation which might be a little bit different to the one you've seen before. And we're also given this table which I've copied out as well. Um, so what it essentially shows us is that no matter what type of lens we're using, if it's convex or concave, one of these values is going to be negative. Okay, so question 37 says the focal length of a biconvex lens that has a curvature radii of 60 centimeters on both sides. So let's write down what that tells us. Um, and the refractive index is going to be 1.75. So we've been given our equation to use here. So we can just plug in the values. It's 1.75 minus one upon one over 60 minus, and of course, because we're dealing with a convex lens, R2 is gonna be negative here. Um, so we can say it's minus minus one over 60 or we can simplify that a little bit and just make that a plus. So then that gives us um, 0.75, which I'll write as three over four, um, multiplied by two over 60. And so we can simplify these equations or these uh, fractions a little bit more. Uh, it's one over 30. So this three and these 30 cancel, so we get 10 and one so that means you've got 1 over 40, which of course is 1 over f, and that tells us then that f is going to be 40 centimetres, or the focal length will be 40 centimetres. So that gives us an answer of b for question 37. So question 38, um, I've drawn out a diagram here to explain this a little bit better, but basically there's a lens and it's not symmetrical, so one of the um, curvatures is a little bit different to the other. And so if you had light going through uh, this lens and light going through this lens, would the refraction be any different um, simply by reversing the lens? So I think the important thing to remember is that the shape of the lens, of course, does have an effect on um, the way that light might bend through it. Um, but the shape of the lens actually is the same here. So the light will have to pass through uh, a surface that looks like this and then a surface that looks like this. Um, in this case, and then if you flip that, um, the light would have to pass through a surface like this and a surface like this. Uh, and each of these surfaces, these interfaces here, are what are going to bend the light. And the same um, surfaces exist on both lenses because they're essentially the same lens. Um, and the, the order that it, the, the light hitting them uh, occurs that doesn't actually matter because it's the surfaces themselves um, that are remaining constant in both cases the order doesn't matter and so the refraction of the light would actually be the same so answer c here says there would be no change the lens would reflect refract the light in the same way so that's the answer for this one because the the light still has to make the same sort of journey um doesn't matter what order um it's going through the lenses at okay so then question 39. Uh, it says, consider a symmetrical biconvex lens that has a focal length as long as the radius of the curvature. What is the refractive index? Okay, so that actually tells us quite a lot of information. So let's draw out our equation again so we know what we're dealing with. We've got n minus 1 upon 1 over r1 minus 1 over r2. So we're told here that the focal length is as long as its radius of curvature. So that means f equals r1 equals r2. So then we could just replace all of this with one letter and we'll just call it x and then we'll solve for n at the end. So we've got 1 over x equals n minus 1 upon 1 over x. And again, because it's a biconvex lens, it's going to be plus 1 over x here. And then we can just solve for this. So we can take this. 2 over x that we're going to get in this bracket and divide both sides by that. So then that's going to be the same as multiplying by x over 2. So I've skipped a couple of st steps there, but I hope that makes sense. Um, but what that means then is we can cancel these x's. We've got a half equals n minus 1. So 1 plus a half is n. So n is going to be 1.5. The refractive index is going to be 1.5. And then that gives us an answer of b for question 39. So that was questions 37 to 39 of the pink book. I hope that helped.